must be a slow day. Maybe he'll throw it away. I don't think the vice president should resign. If he's indicted, do you think he should resign then? I'd like to see the charges. I mean, if it's a matter of a mistaken in income tax, we're all guilty of that from time to time. If it's a matter of his having received payoffs, that's another horse. But again, uh, nobody's seen the evidence, nobody's seen the charges, nobody knows who made the charges, and until we learn those things, I don't want to get uh, involved in it. Senator, there are reports that uh, there seems to be some sort of effort within the White House to ease Mr. Agnew out. Uh, Vic Gold this morning said that uh, he felt that uh, Haig and, uh, and Laird were behind some sort of movement to ease him out. Uh, do you detect this? Do you feel anything like that going on? No, I don't detect it, but if I uh, wanted to write a scenario involving a way to get rid of any man in public life, I think this present scenario would lend itself. Senator, any ideas to why perhaps your name apparently was singled out yesterday as the possible source of the story that uh, someone said they were 99 and a half percent certain that Mr. Agnew was planning to resign and there were indications that you were the man who had said that. You, I know you've denied it, but well, you know no why other. you might have been singled out. Well, I think the biggest, has anyone ever heard me say 99 and a half? I go 100 or I don't go. <laughs>